Hello, my minions. We are back. Something special. It's a game I've not actually had a chance to play, and probably the only Bioware game I've not actually played. It's for free. On Origin. Hey, I ain't gonna complain. Free game is a free game. Oh. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start a new game. And let's see. What should we do? Let's try him. Lou the Prodigy. No, no, no. That won't do. Just to think, people be like, oh, you're not. You haven't finished Fallout 4. No. But sometimes taking a quick break for a few minutes uh, for a couple days helps things. So that's what we're doing. And hopefully, when I get my webcam working, we'll start streaming soon. Let's see what happens. Happily. I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. Okay. Interesting. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, okay. so... Okay. No, I'm not going to say... To his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spot. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Plus, I already have some Fallout videos to upload, so we'll get that work right. Let's see. That's the master's house. Smiling Mountain. Hmm. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. 
It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here. Because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm or the closed fist? A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. Interesting. Tyranny Let's from see. external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. True, but that can become a convenient excuse. Eventually you may decide that even direct violence is too inefficient for someone of your strength. It is a small leap from there to enforcing your will so that the crime never takes place. Suddenly you are the oppressor, when all you wanted to do was make things right. This way of the open palm is not without its hidden dangers, despite the best of intentions. It is the low path, the way of aggression and discord. A misunderstood path often misused by those who wish to justify a thuggish nature. It is not as simple as crushing your enemies or as mindless as terrorizing the weak. It is a mindset born of impatience, of imposing your will. An evil man might ignore a plea for help because he does not care, but that shows a disconnection with the world. That is not part of the way. A man on the low path might also ignore that plea, but he would do so because that person should demonstrate they are fit to survive on their own. Hmm. The difference is in the details. That same man might help if the odds are unreasonable. He might also do it to incur favor. There is thought in his actions. He is not a mindless killer, but he may let strength decide what course is best. That is why it is a dangerous path that can so easily be misinterpreted. You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. But, there can be advantages. Certain forms of attack inherently lean toward one extreme or the other. They have a rhythm that resonates within them. You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. How you use this is for you to discover and decide. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can. Okay, interesting. I deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Who are you interested in? Master Lee is a private man, and I will not presume to speak for him. His interest in you surpasses the care of any master I have known. He must see great potential in you. If you wish, but only introspection reveals true insight. I used to call the trading center of Phoenix Gate my home, but I am settled in it. I have nothing to go back to. It is not important. Suffice to say that I prefer this little village to the temptations of a greater city. Enough about me. What else can I do for you? It has been several years since I arrived in Two Rivers. 
I was surprised to find a teacher of Master Li's ability so far out on the borderlands. It was a fortuitous accident. I have studied the martial arts all my life and serve your master as I am able. He is devoted to your training and needs someone to assist the other students. Good. Okay. I am here if you need anything. Anything else? Both keys together, interesting. Master Lee keeps talking about restless dead, but there's nothing like that around here. Hmm. a junior student I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. You're right. Master Lee would not have accepted me if he did not see potential. He measures all people carefully. I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Lee? Star both had a lifetime of training under Master Lee. He is stern with you, but you sure can see that he's proud as well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? I don't know anyone else who displays the skill you do. Perhaps Gao, but he lacks discipline. That is why he still wears the robes of a junior student, despite his ability. Dawnstar will be next few able to match her delicate moves. Beyond that, the only other person I know well is Smiling Mountain, the sparring master. I know she is sensitive to things the rest of us can't see. Sometimes I feel sorry for her. It obviously makes her feel different, and that's not right. Interesting. I think she was given a gift. Unlike responsibility, it may not always be pleasant, but it's something she should be proud of. It shouldn't isolate her. I have seen his kind in the city. He thinks his family's wealth is a substitute for nobility and is angered when others still see him for what he is. A crass and spoiled bully. He doesn't come close to Master Lee's skill, but Smiling Mountain is good for the younger students. He pairs novices with more advanced students so we can learn. I've heard about and seen your skill, but I haven't been here long enough to know much more. Most of the students seem to appreciate your abilities. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Okay. I have been healed. <laughs> I have been healed. Okay, let's see. Okay. I have been healed. Let's explore. I 
Ага. And of course, can't jump. Our most senior student has a spare moment to spend with me. An honor. No, wait, I shouldn't be like that. Master Lee always reminds me that jealousy is a low path not worthy of one of his students. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. <laughs> That's easy enough for you to say. You're already the best in the school. The rest of us just stare at your back. Of course, there could be worse views. <laughs> Maybe I should spend more time training and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? That's the way Besides, to go. There might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip, even if I am just that. <laughs> of note, there's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar. It's just a background for you and your supposed destiny. Not that you don't deserve the attention. I'd be flirting with you non-stop if you weren't so focused on whatever it is Master Lee has in store for you. Ooh. Always very envious of that. Even Gao gets pushed aside, and he doesn't like being anything less than the center of attention. You know him as well as I do. A rich man's son? He's attractive, I suppose, but arrogance follows him like a cloud of locusts. I hear his father is the same way. Gao the greater and Gao the lesser. Not a family I would want to be a part of. Why do you need to ask me about Dawnstar? You know her better than anyone as far as I'm concerned. You two practically grew up together. Frankly, I think she might have a little crush on you, too. Notice how she's been less willing to train with you recently? Maybe that's why you two get along so well. Maybe her sense for ghosts and the like meshes well with the great destiny Master Lee sees for you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be like that. Dawnstar is a fine person. She just sees things that I can't. I know there are ghosts and spirits, but why should she be able to sense them when I can't? What makes her special? Well, Master Lee corner. tries to never let it show. He obviously holds a special place in his heart for you two. I suppose that's hard to deal with, even if I have been here far less time than you two. You know what is said. Master Lee believes you're special, but won't say why. It makes you... interesting. Hmm. Some of the others don't find it as intriguing as I do. Some even consider it an attack on their worth. Gao, obviously. You know he doesn't like you, he never has. And when Master Lee tells him to model himself after you, that just makes it worse. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? Other than what Dawnstar senses, all I have is stories, but they're becoming more and more common. Tales of people being haunted by loved ones, 
and mad ghosts attacking people on the roads or even in their homes. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? Leaving so soon? Oh well, back to my training. Okay. I'm hitting that mark fairly soon. And it's also getting late. Typical. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. Everything to make way for me. I don't think so. You're far too important to waste time worrying about my education. Master Lee certainly considers your training important enough to shove all others aside, so why shouldn't I bow down to your ways? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal licking friends and let them tell you that chance. Try Lynn. She'll say anything to please you just to see your simpering little smile. Pathetic. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. Yeah, you're a knob. And a whiny little bitch. your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Hmm. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small things are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him. And Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. Okay. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. 
Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. What do I have a feeling? Master's gonna get killed. Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gu Jin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. A very likely gown. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gal. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gal, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there isn't a time. We are not through. Oh, he is Gal the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gal never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? You've said so already. I'm fine. What brings you here? <laughs> yes, you said you were coming. He just passed here with Steve Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? I don't like your bad feelings. They always end up being right. Remember the grass fire? Half of the field's gone in a day, and you knew it would happen. You said you felt the lightning coming, but 
but not even Master Lee knows the weather like that. I trust your instincts. You are full of such promise. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? I think he wants Let's to keep her close to his heart. Shot. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Okay, so we go this way. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it. Let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. Well, I'm going to kick the crap out of someone. So quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Why would bandits come here to two rivers? Heavens no! Uh, I don't have time to speak with her. Alright, my minions, what we need to do is save. is here This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Oyo er shatir uksayana. Sawani karpa. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> if you prefer, I don't need to use them. What brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Donstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. Okay, what is it? I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword 
fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. Long sword. Gotta do it. I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. I'll explain why in a moment. But suffice it to say that very few people have her aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this. But don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. A young noble convinced the great eastern serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. It could be pure fantasy, but the staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. They say how your master... Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon, and the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. <laughs> Senior student. Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. Master Li hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. They're making their way toward the town now. The few men in the militia weren't able to stop them. I... I don't know, but their ship is large. There could be many of them. You have to help, senior student. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. All right, my minions. This is where we are going to save and end it. Good place to stop. I'm liking the game so far. You know what? I gotta say, it, it definitely has Knights of the Old Republic a bit of feel from it. But then again, Lucas borrowed heavily from the East for Star Wars. So... I'm going to get this uploaded, get some other videos uploaded, and we'll go from there. Well, maybe we'll just call this episode one of Jade Empire. If you guys and guys like what you see, please subscribe. Throw me on your favorites and give me that like button hit. If you got questions, you got answers, want to see something else, want to see more Fallout 4, you want to see more Elder Scrolls, uh, even a completely different game, let me know. Comment below. And until next time, keep on gaming, my minions.